to get the show on the road. Hello, Ellie! Welcome. <sighs> May 11th, 9.40 a.m. High Court of Crane. Accused Lobby. God, I really wish that they didn't, like, make me watch that whole thing get typed out. I wasn't able to find any conclusive evidence yesterday, but if I can figure out Lady Kira's motive for threatening the High Priest, then maybe... <clears throat> Nick, um, today I, well, what, Maya? Hello. You see, this is, this is Maya. Wait, I don't even know how old she is now. She's, I think she's only like in her early 20s. She's 28. Jesus. Wait, how old am I? Where's Phoenix? Phoenix is. Wait, oh yeah, because Phoenix is like 30. Is he 35, 36 now? I think he was 35 in the last game. Because I remember, yeah, he's quite a few, but yeah. Yeah, she's 28. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know why I kept feeling like she was way younger, but I think it's just because we're used to her being not an adult. Okay, but yeah, you can tell that she's mature, like I mentioned before, because she has lips. And you know that Immature women in anime generally don't have lips, unless they're doing something sexy or it just does one of those weird close-ups. I don't... Anime's a mistake. Oh, okay. <clears throat> don't look so down, Maya. I'm gonna defend you with everything I've got, and we probably won't die. Oh, no. I bet it's... I think I know who that is. <clears throat> you would do well to cease this insanity while you still can. Oh, it's you! I thought it was Nayuta. I was like, Nayuta sucks. You know, I'm kind of... She's kind of growing on me a little bit. Partially because I know it's not completely her fault that she's crazy. It's also her parents' fault. So... I cut her a little bit of slack. She's still a very, like, angry 14-year-old, though. <clears throat> As I said yesterday, I'm going to defend my client in court. At least she... I was like, wait, and then I was like, wait, we were talking about Maya. Yeah. Since she's 28 and all. Yeah, exactly. She no longer has to get weirdly busty from her older sister inhabiting her body. Well, know this. You shall not witness a miracle of the sort that occurred last time. The moment she is found guilty, you too will be found guilty of abetting the accused. I never claimed to be a miracle maker, but I am good at discovering the truth. And unlike miracles, the truth is always waiting to be found. Damn, Phoenix just dunked on religion. The truth, you say? Hmm. Then it seems you have chosen your fate. I like how I went, hmm, before it even started saying that, because I was like, man, she just seems like the kind who would be like, hmm. This shall be your very last trial. Sorry, I don't think so. My, my name is in the game. I can't die. <clears throat> Nick. I'm going to prove you innocent, Maya. You'll see. After all, you have to introduce the plumed Punisher, warrior of Neo Twilight Realm, to the folks back home, right? Constantly die. I mean, this is true. Everybody's dunking on each other. It's just a dunk fest. Right. I may be a defendant this time. You mean again? Don't just say this time. But I'll be by your side like always, Nick. Thanks, Maya. This place is tough on lawyers. I'll need all the help I can get. Plus, it's always good to have you on the team. Yes. Well, it's time. Let's go. Oh, boy. <clears throat> I mean, it's true. Yeah, high court. Thank you. Yep. All rise. I mean, okay, well, they're already risen. 
Let the trial of Maya Fey begin. Is it 37 or 65? It's gonna be like the plot of uh, freaking Metal Gear Solid 4. He's just gonna be old as hell. He's gonna be wearing like a special suit that makes him turn invisible because crime, I don't know. For some reason, you're going to have to be invisible to solve crimes. Let the trial of Maya Fey begin. The defense is ready, your majesty. Ah! God, I don't like this guy. I know, I talked a little bit uh, about him with Dez, and Dez was like, I never liked him. And I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to like him either, because he's like a zealot. He's crazy religious. I don't care like if he's got long braid and does pray things. He, he sucks. Hello, Zunder. What's going on? We just ran into the douche again. He's smelly. Well, he probably, maybe he's smelly. Do they bathe in this religion? I don't know. Okay, let's go. Huh? Uh, uh. Um. Mm. Quiet! Can't you see Prosecutor Saad Mahdi is absorbed in silent prayer? You know, dang. Well, whatever. Great. The trial's barely started and the judge is already mad at me. He's very devout for a prosecutor. I mean, yeah, compared to Payne, who was just only devout to himself. Yeah, he probably does. Hmm? Why is the accused standing over there? Oh, um, well, your majesty. In addition to being the accused, she is also my assistant. The accused is your assistant, you say? Very well, then. A criminal does indeed make a fitting partner to a lawyer with a defiled soul. Thanks. That wasn't very nice. Yeah, well, bad-mouthing lawyers seems to be a custom of sorts here in Karain. I must say, I am surprised to see you still here in Karain, Mr. Wright. And even more so to find you in the Hall of Justice once more. Hmm. I cannot fathom why you would willingly risk your life in yet another trial. The answer is simple, your majesty. I am a lawyer, and this is what lawyers do. Although, to be frank, I'd rather be anywhere but here right now. Yeah, everybody's dunk. Yeah, well... He's about as impartial as Fox News. <laughs> Fair and balanced, am I right? Anyway, I mean, all news stations are biased, but I feel like they're among the top worst. Okay, cool, you have a butterfly now. That's nice. Can we get this started? Such foolishness. Ah, Prosecutor Sadmadi, are you ready to begin now? Yes, your majesty, the prosecution is ready. Let us begin without further delay. <clears throat> but first, I promise, or I promise you both this. I will cast your wicked souls into the fires of hell. I hate it. Like, come on. I don't care what kind of like country you come from or like, if you learned law, I feel like you have to learn certain etiquettes, like not constantly telling the other side that they're going to fucking hell. Oh, that's not good. Thus shall the soul of the victim attain salvation. <laughs> Splendid! I would expect nothing less of you, Prosecutor Saad Madhi. <laughs> like, in the judge is like, this is fine. No, man. See, I, I don't know. 
I think one of the reasons why I'm kind of eh about this game is the setting is just like so extreme. Like, I don't know exactly what they were going for, but it's just like, man, I don't know. This just feels kind of off base compared to the other games. Like, hey, granted, in every other game, you were just in a familiar courtroom doing stuff, finding new evil people and all that. But now it's like, hey, we're just going to kind of put you in this place and everybody fucking hates you. And it's just a very bad place to be. But you're just going to have to deal with it. Man. Uh, please save the victim's soul. Punish the wicked lawyer who dares to stop these last rites. I think I'll pass on that whole fire and brimstone deal. It probably doesn't help that I am, like, i not religious at all. So I'm just like, man, all of this is just is like, I don't like that. <clears throat> Fox News Anchorman, and apparently, yeah. But I'm not surprised by your words or stance, considering what Apollo told me about you. <clears throat> so it was you who instilled that putrid lorely guile within him. P putrid what? He too must soon face the fires, lest his soul be lost to redemption. I, okay, I gotta ask, like, I thought that Christianity was the only one that had horrible, painful, burning death, and every other religion is pretty chill, where they're just like, well, whatever, it's just, you're not gonna get the good, good stuff, but whatever. So, it feels really weird that they're super pushing hell and flames and stuff in this random, like, Asian country, and I'm like, but, I mean, I figured they'd be more like boot, I don't think Buddhism has a bad place. Does Buddhism have a bad place? Like, I, I feel like that's what this would have kind of been modeled off of slightly, but maybe not. I um, what religions have hell? Religions with a linear divine history often depict hells as eternal destinations. The biggest examples of which are Christianity and Islam. Um, yeah, Buddhism is just reincarnation, you know? So I'm like, it's it feels really weird that they keep pushing this so much. <clears throat> uh, but, but it's like mostly, yeah, these guys also, so they're just like a weird mix, apparently. Uh, uh. Yeah, because most of them, like, if you're evil, you don't go to hell. You just turn into, like, a freaking, like, monster or something, you know? <clears throat> you must serve a sentence. Yeah, exactly. But, yeah, reincarnated in hell. Yeah, I don't like it at all. Like, it, it's just... That, I think that's one of the reasons why this game is kind of getting an eh for me, because it feels like they're pushing, like, a lot of very extreme stuff, and they just are not backing down. And I'm like, man, this is really draining to, like, go through, to be honest. Uh, yeah. And most, you know what? The funny thing is I've been reading some of this stuff, too, and apparently some religions, like, never really had a concept of hell, but they kind of borrowed it because they were like, oh, maybe we should tell people that there's a bad thing that will happen so they won't be so shitty. But unfortunately, people are still shitty. So you're going to cow or something. Yeah. So I don't know. It's just, man. <clears throat> it's all explained later. OK. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that small educational piece that how religion is mostly terrible. <clears throat> he too must face the fires lest his soul be lost to redemption. But I shall send you on ahead so that he will not be so lonely when he arrives. Wow. Sorry, but I'm afraid it won't be that easy. People say I never know when to give up. Phoenix, I, you know, I guess it works for you because it's not like you're a womanizer or anything. You just, 
you're just very good at bluffing in court. Uh, nervous, Maya? A little. Feels like it's been ages since we stood side by side like this in court. Nope. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Everything's fine. Too bad I'm the defendant. Don't worry. We haven't lost a case together yet. You're right. Let's give this everything we've got, Nick. <sighs> now then, Prosecutor Saad Madhi, would you please explain the case at hand? Of course, Your Majesty. Let us begin the last rites of the victim. <clears throat> Maya Faye has been charged with the crime of murder. Watch Aladdin because sorcery of Pokemon because it, yeah, or like Harry Potter. One of my aunts actually was like that with her kids for a while and I was just like, wow. I mean, thankfully she no longer is like that. <laughs> Which I'm glad for. I, I don't know if, if it was like her first husband or something or what that caused that, but it always boggles my mind when people are like that. I'm like, man, you guys have some weird ways of protecting your children, I guess, from things that don't, you know, like exist. You tell them all about other things that we don't know if they were actually fact or not, considering how many times the Bible has been revived, revised, but I've also never read it. So, you know, I don't know. <clears throat> the victim of her heinous crime, her heinous crime, was High Priest Tarust in me. And yes, it's exactly what it sounds like, and I hate it. He was conducting the purification rite when he was brutally slain. And the cause of death? Let us review the victim's autopsy report in the crime scene photo, shall we? <clears throat> the cause of death was blood loss from a stab wound delivered to the abdomen. The murder weapon was likely the war bat dagger, which was used in the right. However, the weapon has yet to be found, though the scene was thoroughly searched. A sacred relic used as a tool of murder? The Holy Mother's wrath shall be most severe, sure. But she, yeah, no, exactly. I, I remember, um... I, I remember, I, I actually read, like, some, um... Like, a meme where, where somebody had put, like, a tweet where they're like, What was the biggest lie told in the Bible? Or, or the biggest misconception about the Bible. And somebody right below was like, that everybody in it was white. And they were like, oh, dang. The murder itself took place at the height of the purification rite. The accused had donned Lady Kira's sacred robes. And the victim was there to offer prayers as a high priest of Koranism. During the rite, the victim and accused were the only two at the inner sanctum. Therefore, the only person who could have slain the victim is Maya Fey. Uh. Hmm. I must say, that does cast a great deal of suspicion upon the accused. Of course it does! You have no other information to go off of. Uh. Indeed. Now then, allow me to submit this diagram of the crime scene as evidence in this case. It's like a barely, a very badly drawn, like, crayon drawing of the di- Oh, never mind, it's just a straight up diagram. <sighs> well, it also mentions that, yeah. <laughs> because people like to whitewash everything. And they also don't understand how things work for the world. <clears throat> In Koranism, slaying a priest is a sin most grave and dreadful. As such, Maya Fey's soul shall be plunged into the lowest level of hell, the hell of tickling. What? Ex what? No! What? There she shall be tickled without end for 500 million years! Where are these numbers coming from? 
That is a terrible fate indeed. Would the defense care to respond? Here I thought the lowest level of hell was the hell of back pain. I don't remember killing anyone, and I don't have the dagger or anything like that. As my client stated, she has no memory of the event as described by the prosecution. But more importantly, she had no motive to kill the high priest in the first place. Stop sighing. I ain't got... <clears throat> this is true. Hmm. I thought you might say that. Nevertheless... The meaningless prattle of lawyers is utterly ineffectual here in the Hall of Justice. No, it actually is effectual because I won the last case, you dumb bastard. For all will be made clear by her benevolence, Rafa Padma Corain's insight. Cheryl, yeah. So it is and so it shall be. The divination seance reveals the truth for all to see. Here we go again. Bailiff, please show in the royal priestess. Actually, that reminds me, since we're on the topic of this, um, has anybody in here seen Jesus Christ Superstar? My, I remember, I actually watched that, and I liked it. I'm not a religious person, but I liked it. It's Princess Rafa! Oh, how beautiful her benevolence looks today! Glory to the Holy Mother for this blessed day! But I remember my mom told me, like, when it first came out, like, it was out for a little bit, and then it was, like, banned from a lot of places, because people were like, no, we can't have Jesus portrayed in this way. And it's like, why? I mean, what's wrong with that? I have faith we had copy and paste because, oh yeah, that's a lot of um, things. Yeah, no, they're all Rafa simps. They love this 14 year old. Shows you a lot about these people, doesn't it? It's popular as ever, I see. Uh, thank you for the follow, Cody the Wolf. Rest assured, Good people of Karain, I will defeat this murderer and her a better. Although she was following me around like a lost puppy, even though she said it was so she could keep an eye on me, but I'm pretty sure she was just bored and she wanted to see what I was up to because everybody is a fan of Phoenix Wright. They shall not escape on their Freedom Express today. Ah, uh, she's, <laughs> she's stealing my words. What a joy it is to have the royal priestess back in the Hall of Justice. May the Holy Mother grant us her divine favor, Undihara Karain. Karain. I get it. Karain. Cheryl looks pleased with herself, especially for someone who didn't know what a Freedom Express was until yesterday. Hmm? Is there something stuck to my face, barbed head? No, no, nothing, your benevolence. Now then, your benevolence, the divination seance, if you please. Very well. Nana, my robe. Hip. 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 Are we gonna watch the dance again? Oh, holy mother. We hold this divination seance in your name. Let the eyes of everyone here be clear and our ears be Every blind. time? Oh no. Oh, dance of devotion. Guide the victim's soul to me so that we may receive their final memories in the pool of souls. Oh, I can totally skip it if I want, but you know what? Whatever, we'll watch it. It's been a while. For anybody who hasn't seen it. I do like how it keeps telling you, do you want to skip this? No, we're watching it this time. <laughs> like, most likely Otter. I mean, gotta save those assets when you can, right?
I mean, this did come out years before, Ellie, before they perfected the art of dancing. It's fine. Oh. Oh, it's the... Okay, yeah. Okay. Maya's right there. You opened your words. Ma oh, well, that's incriminating. Footsteps. Pain. Incense. Oh, that looks bad. That looks pretty bad. <laughs> Why are you Naruto hand signing? Because he's a priest. He had to do the... the. I don't even know. I'm sorry. I don't... I'm not very good at hand things. We'll have to get Disney Plus. Maybe. The victim's Mitama has spoken. The divination seance is complete. Great, another clearly incriminating seance vision. It could not be any clearer, oh foul defense. The accused donned the sacred robes of Lady Kira and then attacked the victim. Oh, how very terrible it must have been. The figure of Lady Kira lit against the dim lantern light. The scent of incense growing ever more potent as she drew near. One can almost sense the horror Abbot in me must have felt. I don't know, I still feel like it was a very poor choice of words um, for them to shorten it to Abbot in me, because I really thought that that was a dunk on... Um, current events in the church, uh, but it's not. It's just because his name is to rust in me. Has anyone tried Pokeballs before? I have. They're delicious. I I forget. Ellie, you like, um, wait, do you like uh, sashimi? Because I know they tend to have like raw ingredients in Pokeballs as well. I know we ate a lot of like tempura and stuff like that, but we didn't really have like sushi. You don't like sashimi. Okay. You can also get poke bowls that don't have that have like cooked ingredients. Like I got I had one here before that had like tuna and salmon, but it also had um like cooked chicken and stuff in there. It's like it, it has this really nice sauce and um you can usually get like seaweed and stuff with it too. It's ve they're very good. Like it probably depends on place to place, but if you have one around there, I'm guessing they have like authentic poke and it's probably pretty damn good. It says to be the most biased, mean spirited religion out. Yeah, it's terrible. Like every time you do anything, they're like, yeah, you're whatever. Everybody's just going to die. You should know by now that you don't eat. Well, you don't have to. I'm sorry. I eat a lot of things that you don't eat. But poke bowls are good. You can get them with plenty of things. I even had mine with pineapple in it. And that sounds weird, considering the rest of the ingredients, but it just, it worked out very well. Something about, like, the tanginess of the pineapple mixing with, like, the rice and stuff. I don't know. I just like food. The facts are presented by her benevolence are indisputable. No, they're totally disputable. But, 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 but that wasn't me. Do something, Nick. I I'm working on it. And that couldn't have been any clearer. Looks like I'm in for another uphill battle. Sriracha? That sriracha? I don't know. I don't think the one that I have around here had, like, a sriracha sauce. I think it had more, like, the... Your usual, like, kind of spicy mayo that you'd have on, um... On sushi and stuff, which is very good. I don't think I... You know, I still think I haven't actually eaten sriracha. Religion is only as evil as its governing master's interpretations? Wow. Yeah, well, this guy is a jerk, so it makes sense. The the king of Korain. The accused committed this vile act during our ancient tradition, 
the purification rite. Come to think of it, uh, the rites guide explained the multi-part purification rite in detail. The transformation rite, the high priest reads the scripture while the priestess dons the robe of Lady Kira, the rite of water, Lady Kira enters the spring and the high priest purifies her along with her dagger. The rite of fire, the priestess circles the sacred flames to purify her soul. Ba da da. Your friend wants to eat a poke bowl tomorrow, and you're like, yeah, if you want to go eat it, go ahead. You and Sriracha. Yeah, can you ask for it, like, without the Sriracha, I guess? Because I think it would be fine without that. I just, I don't know how that would mesh with the other flavors. Or maybe they have something else on the menu you might like. Indeed. It would seem that the murder occurred during, during the transformation rite. The rite dictates that the high priest stands in front of the spring. Ugh. Therefore, the accused must have attacked him from the direction of the broken lantern. Well, barbed head? Would you care to object? Of course, because I know my client is innocent. Hmm. <laughs> so you say, you truly do not know when you are beaten, do you? Liter wow, the ones that don't have a bunch of... That's so weird that... I mean, the place that I have here, you can pick and choose. Kind of sucks that everything's, like, pre-made there. Well... Yeah. That's okay. You can go there and hang out with your friend while they eat poke, and then be like, buy me something from someplace else after. Man, it should pull it off last time with Albi. I'll just have to do it again. You intend to find fault with her benevolence's insights yet again? It would seem lawyers are Polkunan creatures indeed. Look at that Polkunan! Polkunan! I don't know what that means! That sounds rude! What exactly is a, uh, Polkunan? Uh, someone who's a real piece of work, uh, so to speak. They can call me anything they want. The only thing I care about is uncovering the truth. That's right, Phoenix. So, Barbed Head, are you foolish enough to risk your life for your so-called truth? You want a Korean barbecue? Yeah! Why don't they want Korean barbecue? Korean barbecue is delicious. Everybody loves that. You know, if I had a choice between a poke bowl and Korean barbecue, I'd, I'd go with Korean barbecue. Like, I'm sorry, poke bowls, you're delicious, but... I it might be good, kind of like the 2011 Muppets. I, you know what? I really need to watch like all the Muppet movies because like the only ones I've really seen are the like Muppet Christmas Carol thing. And I don't know, maybe one of the other ones. <laughs> I, like, it's not that I don't dislike them. I just, I'm very bad at watching movies unless I watch them with friends. And if I don't watch them with friends, they might as well just not exist because I, I don't go out of my way to look for them. I did watch a lot of Muppets like as a kid, like the show and Muppet Babies and all that. So, and I like Kermit the Frog. He's good. Oh, are you foolish enough to risk your life for your so-called truth? An impressive amount of zero Muppets, but you know who the Swedish chef is, probably because the Swedish chef isn't actually Swedish at all. He just speaks nonsense, but you know being Swedish that he exists. Carol's pretty. Yeah, no, my big Christmas Carol is quite good. I, I like it a lot because my insights are the truth. To deny them is to willingly dig your own grave, except we proved them wrong last time. Rafa, did you forget when we were like, wow, you're off the mark? And then you got mad and you left. Jeez. Is a foreigner always mentions him? I mean, this is true. I, I guess it's like, you probably get a lot of people who talk to you about Ikea because they're like, is it really Swedish? Like, I, I guess that's kind of the thing, you know? If, if you, there's something that's like, that has like its origins from your country or something like that, then people are always going to bring it up and be like, but is this a real thing? I, well, I did talk to her and I was like, he's not speaking Swedish, is she? And she's like, no, he's just saying nonsense in weird 
in, in a weird accent. Ah, oh, Rafa's insight. Let's see, the victim commenced the purification rite by bowing to the lanterns and reading a sutra. Not a Kama Sutra, just a regular sutra. Those are reserved for other things. It's either Ikea, the Muppet Chef, and... Oh, and Moomin! You know, I didn't even know about... I think you're the one who mentioned Moomin. To me. But there were also... Uh, that that one day that we went through all of, like, your... Your, like, childhood cartoons, and you were just like, Man, I remember this. As the first part, the transformation rite ended, he lowered the sutra. Suddenly, he heard the accused approach... Approaching footsteps and smelled her incense-laden robes. It was then that the victim felt an intense pain. I believe this is when he was stabbed. Now that was fun. Actually, you know, I, I, the thing is, I knew about Moomins, but I didn't know where they were from before. Because I remember when I was at Half Price Books, um, I was in a section where there were a lot of like children's books, and I found them, and I was like, "What are these hippo things?" And yeah, I think I looked them up and found out that they were Swedish, but I never brought them up with you because I never thought about it. Off the dolly and a few other Muppets, but yeah, he's literally just saying random not. Yeah. As his life's blood spilled over, his vision dimmed till finally he passed from our world. Oh, jeez. That is everything the victim experienced in his final moments. Well, I figured they wouldn't be able to grip or go crazy with stuff as bad if it was like floppy Muppet fingers. Inner Sanctum diagram updated in the court record. Shows where Maya and the high priest were during the rite. But she said that the water was already red. Uh... Dressed in the sacred robes of Lady Kira, the accused rushed the victim head on. The brutal stabbing she perpetrated could not have been any clearer. Yes, it is plain for all to see. N no, it wasn't me! A sudden drowsiness came over me during the transformation rite. I didn't even get a chance to put on Lady Kira's robes. You waste our time with such meaningless statements, accused. You cannot explain away the truths revealed by the royal priestess's divine insight. Yeah, this is true. He probably would have been a lot more dangerous. Ugh. How did you end up finding contradictions last time? Well... The deceased's final memories include all five senses. Oh, you mean those words that appeared in the Pool of Souls? It looked to me like the bigger the word, the stronger the sensation was to the victim. Yeah, that's how it looked to me, too. The sensations themselves are never wrong, only their interpretations. That's why I tried to point out mistakes in Rafa's insights last time. So there could be contradictions between what Abbott in me felt and her insights, huh? You got it, and I'm going to find them this time, too. Should I check how to point out contradictions in the side? I'm okay. Nah, I remember how it works. Still, the sensation this time seems to fluctuate more than the ones in, from Aldi's trial. In which case, I better keep an eye on the changes in their intensity, too. Okay, time to point out the sensations that contradict the insights. All about sensations. Okay. Bowing the lanterns. Pull out that sutra. Da -da. Uh, wind. If there was a... Mm. Ah! 
pain. Incense, footsteps. Uh, I think I can... Uh, I forgot how I make it go backwards. Oh, like that. Okay. Oops. Oh, pfft. No, <laughs> back. I don't know what I'm doing. Back. <laughs> Play. Doesn't even look like that person's walking. Yes. What steps? Oops. Objection! The victim supposedly heard the accused approaching footsteps. But did he really? What nonsense is this? Is it not abundantly clear? No, it's not. Because there is something strange about those footsteps. S strange? Explain yourself, barbed head. The footsteps are strange before because, um... I don't think they get louder. They're not getting any louder. And why exactly does that matter? Please focus your attention on the incense the victim smelled. The scent grows stronger as the accused approaches. If the accused really had approached the victim, the sound of her footsteps would have grown louder as the scent of the incense grew. Okay, yeah. Ah! Wow. Um, well, why, that makes perfect sense. How can this be explained, your benevolence? Um, uh, well, th there must be a reason. Yeah. Whoa. You're looking... Oh, fuck you, bro. It is as they say, even a putrid worm of a lawyer will turn. What? What does that even mean? Yeah, I'm so confused. He's not exactly singing your praises, that's for sure. Still, we cannot discount this information solely on account of its lawyerly source. Your benevolence. Perhaps you must listen more carefully to the abbot's mitama. Mitama. Sorry, mitama. Listen more carefully? What's he talking about? Hmm. Yes, it would appear so. I shall try to refine the sensation. R refine the sensation? I can more accurately gauge sensations by deepening my communication with a Mitama. Alright, have a good one, Otter. Uh, I didn't even know you could do that. Why have we never done this before? By refining a sensation, a clearer picture of the truth can be discovered. Cool. Wow. Glad that you guys can do this thing that you never told me about before. Oh, blessed Mitama, I beseech you. Hear me now and respond to my call. Ooh, bells! Bells? Footsteps changed into bells? What could this mean? Bells, but the only bells at the scene of the crime were... Ah, that jingling must have come from Abbot Inmi's bells. You mean those big things he had on his ankles? Well, there you have it. The sound of bells was from the high priest's own footsteps. Th then that means... If the footsteps belong to the victim himself, it means it was the victim who was moving, not the accused. The victim was the one who went running towards the broken lantern from the spring. 
a far cry from what her benevolence's insight would have us believe. Yeah. yeah. Inner Sanctum Diagram updated in the court record. Yeah, that's right. But why would the victim have approached the accused? Uh, maybe he was trying to defend himself. Please explain. He could have felt threatened by Lady Kira standing there with a dagger. If so, he might have thought to overpower her before she attacked. <sighs> this is still your voices. This is nothing but a theory and a, a poor one at that. But be not led astray by this lawyer's obvious postulation. While his insolence is inexcusable, I would ask that you calm yourself, your benevolence. Is there something you would care to say, Prosecutor Sadmadhi? Even if it was Abbot in me who moved, it does not negate the accused crime. What do you mean? The accused was likely waiting for the high priest to approach. Ah! And as he neared, she plunged the dagger into him. It is as simple as that. All right. It really doesn't change much, does it? Yes, it is as the prosecutor has said. In fact, it is as I meant to say all along as well. Uh, right, and that's why you were so shocked when you first heard it. Understand now, lawyer? That contradiction you conjured up has come to naught. Once I hone my insights, it will vanish like the dying rays of the sun. Insight revised. He rushed the accused and tried to fight her off by the broken lantern. Yeah, okay. Cool. See? The fact that it was Abbott in me who moved changes nothing. Ugh, come on, Phoenix. You gotta keep your cool. That contradiction I pointed out must mean something. That one sensation changed after Princess Rafa refined her vision. Stands to reason that something else might have changed too because of her refinement. I should focus on any sensations that have changed. While searching for more contradictions between them and her insights, back to the insight board. Water! Water? Excuse me, that's not Stepsy. That's not Steppies. Hold it! How do we know the purification rite was performed exactly as it was supposed to be? Hmm. That's easy. The customs governing the rites are very clear, and Abbot in me would have adhered to them. Well, that's strange. Mr. Wright, would you care to explain just what is so strange? Yes, I would ask you to consider the sound of the victim's footsteps. The sound of bells changes to the sound of water at one point. What's this? It's simple. The victim must have stepped in some water. Oh? Yes, and the only source of water in the inner sanctum is the spring. And therein lies the contradiction. What? What contradiction? I believe the right started out as it should have. The victim stood with his back to the spring and the accused stood right in front of him. But we know now that the victim then moved into the spring. Paul Gunka, that is absurd. This means the accused location differs from what her benevolence's insight indicates. Ah! Uh, yeah, right. Yeah. Then where do you propose the accused stood once he, she donned the 
Lady Kira's robes. I stood on the side of the victim's footsteps. I believe Maya was standing here. She wouldn't have been in this. Wouldn't she just be in the same place she was? Wait. Wait. Would it? Would they be in the? Would she be in the spring? Since they were running and then there was water. Until this moment, we've all just assumed that Abbot Inmi and Ms. Fay were standing where they were supposed to be, as shown in this rights guide. In short. The victim should have been standing with his back to the spring and the accused in the front. However, if that is how they were really standing, he couldn't have stepped into the spring as he approached her. The problem is the victim did step into the spring. This can only mean that Miss Faye had actually been standing in the water. But, but if this is true, then their positions would have been completely reversed. Inner Sanctum Diagram updated in the court record. Oh man, did that guy, I feel like he ran directly into that super pointy statue, which is bad. Ugh. Oh, what is going on here, Miss Faye? Were you really standing in the spring? I I'm sorry, but I barely remember anything about the rite. A high priest would never make such an obvious blunder during a rite. What on earth? Is that even possible? Yeah. Be that as it may, this does not overturn my insights. It doesn't? Let us say the accused was standing in the spring. So what? So what? That This completely reverses their positions is what? That their positions differed from what is customary is rather curious. However, what does that change? It certainly does not erase the accused brutal crime. I guess you have a point there. You lawyers are an absurd breed. Never thinking ahead, you cling to the first insignificant contradiction you can muster. Ugh. Sounds like Princess Rafa has a pretty good grasp on what lawyers are all about. Oh, Maya, where would I be without your brutally frank commentary right now? Okay, well, if their positions are reversed, is this contradiction really meaningless? But something really doesn't feel right. Did I take a wrong turn somewhere? Hmm. I will now amend my insight to account for this new truth. Insight revised. He rushed to the accused and tried to fight her off by the poolside lantern. Okay. Now the contradiction is no more. But the truth of the matter still stands, no matter how stubbornly you deny it. What do you have to say for yourself now, Mr. Wright? Ugh! N nick Your Majesty, this lawyer may have raised a trivial objection. But her benevolence's insights have no further inadequacies of any kind. Yes, so it would seem. Wait a second, but there is another contradiction! Ah, there is, I already know it. Still you flounder about, wretched beast. Though you rack that putrid brain of yours, nothing worthwhile will come of it. But Maya, please tell me you remember something that might help us out here. Sorry, I really don't remember a thing. But now that the place I was standing in has changed, who knows? That alone may cause a new discrepancy with Princess Rafa's insights. That's right, we know that Maya was standing in the spring. Major change like that could very well produce a contradiction. I should take another look at the Inner Sanctum diagram in the court record. And confirm where Maya and Abbot Inmi were standing. 
and then focus on finding any discrepancies between their positions and the insights. I, I already know what it is. Yeah, I, w I was actually just about to ask you, Ellie, if you were... Because you play a lot of support, right? Or do you just swap between whatever your team needs? Okay. Because I'm pretty sure I saw the wind below, and that's not the Springside Lantern. Because that lantern is broken. That's the lantern on the far side. Which means that he wasn't facing the spring. That's not the springside lantern. Uh, present. Objection! You play support at the moment, usually mid player. Ah, I gotcha. Your benevolence, I found a new contradiction. You... you did? Hmm, no doubt it is but another one of your vile attempts to slander my insights. Nope, take a good look at what the victim saw. You just might change your mind. The lantern flame behind the accused was flickering. There's nothing unusual about that, especially as the wind had stirred. No, that's where you're wrong. You only play once, but oh, okay. <laughs> if the accused had been standing in the spring, then what you see here should be one of the lanterns flanking the statue. I fail to see your point. My point is something is wrong here. The two lanterns flanking the statue were both outfitted with glass wind guards. So neither lantern's flame should have been flickering in the wind in the first place. Huh. Oh, uh, ha oh, excuse me. As mid player, your pool is a little bigger, but you want to expand? No, I gotcha. Because, I mean, all of them are pretty valid in their own ways, right? I mean, well, I don't really know how good the balancing of League is, to be honest, but I feel like there's not... There's not really a lot of, like, bad champions. It's just knowing how to play them. I just know that there's, like, a billion champions, so I never understand. <laughs> I'm like, uh, that's too many choices. She seems pretty ticked, Nick. I don't remember saying anything funny. I fail to see what you wish to prove here, but... Uh, very well. I shall refine the vision and reveal the truth for all to see. Oh, blessed Mitama, I beseech you, fix your sight upon the lantern there. Oh, so it's not broken. Uh, huh? That lantern does, doesn't have a wind guard on it. And rightly so. For the wind guard was removed to reveal the sacred flame within for the rite of fire. Therefore, there is nothing odd about the flame flickering. S say what? But, but when we searched the crime scene, those lanterns had their wind guards on. That's because the police put them back on. The sacred flames have burned uninterrupted for hundreds of years, Defense. We could not risk them being extinguished even during an investigation. That would never fly back home. Well, Barbed Head, are you done quibbling? If so, then it is time to bow down before this testimony of the Mitama. Darufa! Nick! Don't worry, Maya, I I'm just getting started. All right, let's go over everything we know so far. When in rank, there is a banning phase and most of your champs get banned. Wait, really? What? Why do they get banned? Is it just like to kind of force people to use other champions or something? That's weird. 
Maya was wearing Lady Kira's robes and standing in the spring. The high priest is thought to have been moving towards her, so I should look for sensations that stand in contradiction to this arrangement. I won't give up. I'm gonna find a contradiction that will undermine the accusation against Maya. Okay. Wait, 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 that is the broken lantern though. That one's the broken lantern. Objection! Okay, I was like, but yeah. What could this possibly mean? That lantern clearly contradicts the inside, but this contradiction will overturn the entire case I've been building. Are you all right, Mr. Wright? One minute you shout out, the next you fall silent. Hmm. Perhaps it is like the bellow of one who is barreling down a hill with no way of stopping. Hmm, is that not right, Prosecutor Sadmadhi? Uh... Don't get cold feet now, Phoenix. Even if this overturns the entire case you built so far, the only way is to keep moving forward, because that's where we'll find the truth. Sorry, but I'm not barreling down a hill. In fact, I'm in full control of everything with the indisputable contradiction I found. Is that so? The lantern behind the accused clearly, no, blatantly contradicts your insight. Does it now? One of the lanterns on the entrance side of the inner sanctum was broken. And if you watch what Abbott in me saw in his final moments, you will notice that the lantern behind the praying form of Miss Faye is broken. The lantern behind Lady Kira, however, is still intact. In short, we are seeing two different or two different lanterns in this seance vision. But how, how could this be? And even if it were so, how would that contradict my insight? Let me start by saying the claim I'm about to raise will overturn the case I've built thus far. Will the defense please explain himself? Based on the broken lantern, we can tell... Yeah, Maya and Abbott in these positions. Where the accused and the victim were standing. But did you not just finish asserting that the accused was standing somewhere else? I did, and I built my argument on that faulty premise. But thankfully, it has led us here. To the actual spot where Maya Fey was standing. Shut up! I'm explaining! I must say, if the defense keeps changing its ass assertions in such a capricious manner, its credibility may come into question. I'm willing to take that risk, your majesty, because I believe this will be the last time. I'd like to start by pointing out the actual spot where the accused was standing. Very well, show us where you now believe the accused was actually standing. Based on the location of the Broken Lantern, this is where Maya was standing. I mean, pretty sure she would have still been like right here. I wasn't thinking straight before, but now it's all falling into place. We know the victim had stepped into the spring. That means Maya Fey had to have been standing in the water as he approached. However, his memory, which has now only now become clear, reveals that Ms. Fay was standing by the side of the broken lantern. In other words, okay. 
she was standing where she was supposed to be according to the custom. Does that not bring us back to the very beginning? No, <laughs> this is where things take a different turn. And I mean that literally, yeah, because he turned around. The victim had to have been moving towards the spring. That means that while he was moving, he had his back turned towards the accused. What's this? Do you mean to say the victim turned around during the rite? But such an image appears nowhere in the seance vision. Actually, it does appear. It's just that no one noticed until now. That no one noticed? How could no one have noticed something so big? There was a moment when the scripture the victim was holding was all we could see. Thanks to that, none of us could tell that he was, in fact, turning around in that moment. Ugh. It is that if it is as the defense asserts, then her benevolence's insights no longer make sense. How do you intend to explain that? I don't need to explain anything because it's just as you said, Prosecutor Sadmadhi. Her benevolence's insights don't make any sense because they contain a huge error. S such insolence. A huge error, you say? Do explain. The huge error is the number of people there. I believe this is what happened at the scene of the crime. The victim was reading a sutra when suddenly he sent someone behind him. He immediately looked back to see someone dressed as Lady Kira standing there. Wishing to see who it was, he approached the robed figure. That's when he was stabbed. This cannot be. Because some champs are, oh, because they're OP, okay. Yeah, well, I don't know. That's just, that seems like a weird way to balance things out, but I guess they, it's easier for them to do that than to mess with their stats. Oh, but it can, and it is. The insight stating the accused stabbed the victim is wrong. And that is the real truth lying behind this testimony of the dead. Huh. 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 Oh, Kaka! <laughs> Still such a... Oh, these words. So you ban the champs you don't want to lane against? Oh, okay. Huh. Uh, are you suggesting that there was someone else at the scene of the crime? <laughs> Have I misunderstood the voice of the Matama yet again? Th this... This cannot be! We killed her. Bonk. Oof, that was a close one. But I managed to divine the true meaning behind the seance's vision somehow. I should add these new facts to the court record. Inner Sanctum Diagram updated in the court record. Wait, okay, so the ban isn't from like, the game itself, Is the, do the players just kinda make that? happen i guess man i'm so confused i mean granted like i said i've played three rounds of league and they're they against spots and then i never picked it up again so there's probably a lot of things i don't understand your benevolence please allow me to take it from here i will overturn the brash accusations of this faithless putrid-minded lawyer so you want to ban the ones that you Oh, okay, I gotcha. Huh. Interesting. Y yes, I shall place my trust in you. Yeah. Go on, get... get. Are you sure about this, Prosecutor Sadmadhi? My work as an international prosecutor has taken me to courtrooms around the world. And in that time, I have learned to perform last rites for souls in trials lacking a seance. Yes, uh, of course. Forgive my ludicrous inquiry. Moreover, I have with me a forensic investigator from overseas. 
I will show you all the most magnificent last rites ever seen. Yes, he really does think highly of Emma and her forensic expertise. I'm impressed that he's come to understand their value. Then again, he is an international prosecutor who solved tough cases around the world. Time to hunker down, huh? Now then, let us continue with today's proceedings. Would the defense please tell us who the, was the third party dressed as Lady Kira was? Your new claim has negated the insights of the royal priestess, so I trust you have some evidence to support it, correct? Uh, yes, <laughs> of course. That's a lie. Oh, uh, actually, Ellie, I was I was curious because I think it might be something you could be interested in. Have you heard of a show on Netflix called Squid Game? Let's say you're champ A in your mid lane. This particular champ is a hard time against champ O, which means that you ban champ O so that the enemy team. Oh, OK, gotcha. Huh. Oh, you already watched it. OK, nice. I'm on episode three. I've been watching it with a friend slowly, and I really I'm really into it. Even if I was yelling a lot of the time, because the main character is he's dumb, but it's OK. This third party must have really wanted to kill the high priest. I might be able to identify who it was if I had evidence of their murderous intent. Because in rank, you can see which champ people. Oh, OK. Huh. Well, we're waiting, Mr. Wright. Three days before the purification rite, the victim received a warning letter from an unidentified individual. He did? Whoever sent it clearly meant to threaten the high priest. The letter said, do not perform the last rite. But the rite went on ahead as scheduled. I believe that is why the high priest was murdered. So you just got to think about it when you pay. Oh, OK, I gotcha. Who do you suppose sent that letter? And I'm, I'm guessing, like, does that all happen, like, before the match officially starts? And then once it starts, that's just it. Like they're banned. Those specific ones are banned for the match and you just go with who you have. A person with something to hide. The rebel hunter disguised as Lady Kira herself. Unless you only play one champion sport because <laughs> oh it's it's fine <laughs> okay peace i i don't understand i had heard that the lady kira that has been in the news of late only hunted rebels if so why would she have killed the high priest Excellent question. Maybe it would help to think of it this way. What if the high priest had secretly been a rebel? Once you lock him, it's a done deal. OK. Huh. The high priest, he couldn't possibly have been a rebel. The high priest, a devout follower of Koranism, a rebel. Do you even comprehend the blasphemy of which you speak? Well, do you? I, too, found it hard to believe at first. But as I continued my investigation, it started to become more and more plausible. The third party was the rebel hunting Lady Kira, and the high priest was a rebel. Your mockery of Koranism, no. Of the kingdom of Korain itself knows no bounds. 
Whoops. That shameless Polkonkin lawyer, he's making a mockery of our religion. I mean, it's not too hard, you guys are crazy. As a faithful Koranist, I take issue with these claims. <coughs> and I am loath to admit them into today's proceedings. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> God. <coughs> the defense's claims are but vile blasphemy and tantamount to spitting on the Holy Mother. Is it really that big a deal, Maya? Uh, Abbot in me was a distinguished monk and very well respected too, so yeah. Ugh, please don't let this turn into an international incident. But fear not, good people of Karain. The rantings of this putrid brained lawyer who seem, seeks to sully the soul of the deceased shall come to no avail once I conclude these last rites. <clears throat> The prosecution's assertions that the accused killed the victim remain unchanged. But, but the victim was stabbed in, in his abdomen. How is that possible when he had his back turned to Miss Faye? Someone else must have killed him. Are you sure about that? Yeah, I am. You may have invalidated the seance, but do not let it go to your putrid head. And the karmic flow of this trial is, as yet, still in my hands. How can he be so confident? Yeah. <laughs> Something has occurred to me, you see. And your allegations of a third party are but a deluded fantasy. And I shall prove that by calling a new witness to the stand. An eyewitness who will deliver a definitive answer that would dis will dispel the defense's doubts. An eyewitness? <clears throat> Very well, let us call this eyewitness to the stand. <clears throat> Unless you come from behind and do a hug from behind. Yeah, you're like, ah. Hello? It's this guy. <clears throat> it's him again. Yeah, I never got his name, though. <clears throat> Well now, he has to be the shaggiest witness I have ever laid eyes upon. Please state your name and occupation. Oh, um, I'm, you know, that so-and-so, uh, whatchamacallit. Anon Imus TBD. Man, I hate this game, guys. I really do. This is like the 10th pun name. <clears throat> and they're not getting any better. At least that's what they've been calling me. TBD, as in to be determined? Can't you just tell us your real name? <clears throat> the witness has suffered a blow to the head, rendering him amnesiac. Therefore... I named him Anon Imus TBD in my report, but he thinks TBD is a part of his name. You gave him that horrible pun name, man. You know what, Nayuta, you're the worst. You're literally the worst prosecutor in this series. Sorry. You're letting an amnesiac testify? Have no fear, I have already questioned him at length. <clears throat> While it is true he has utterly forgotten his name and past, his memory of what he witnessed is still very much intact. Considering the dearth of information, any new knowledge may be of help. Therefore, I will permit his testimony. Now, Mr. Imus, please tell us what you saw. Oh, I was like, is he gonna... <clears throat> is he gonna do it? The night of the murder. That night I was up at the top of Mount Pony Pony, the mountain next to the intersect. I hate crowds, so I climbed up there to pray in peace. I know it's a no-no, but since there was no one around, uh, I used my binoculars to spy on the right at the intersect of 
That's when I saw the accused stab the high priest with a dagger. But we already... Uh, there's no way you saw Ms. Faye stab the victim with a dagger. I, I swear I don't know what he's talking about. Or don't remember at any rate. Mount Pony Pony, the beautiful mountain that is also known as the Little Sanctum. It's like, yeah, it's like 12 meters lower, and there's also... There's also a curtain around the thing. They must be talking about that smaller mountain from the poster. Uh, Mr. Imus, I was wondering... Uh, what can I do you for? The inner sanctum lies at a high elevation where the clouds and fog can obscure the view. Are you sure you were able to see what happened from the mountaintop next to it? Wow! Judge being proactive and using, like, actual factual knowledge against someone? Whoa! That's new. Good point. His Majesty raises an excellent question. Well, Mr. Imus? On the day of the right, there wasn't a cloud in the sky. I had a perfect view. If you don't believe me, check the weather forecast in the paper that day. Nick, we have a newspaper for that day. Or don't we have a newspaper for that day? Yeah, let's take a look. Weather forecast. The area around the inner sanctum will enjoy calm, clear skies today. Warmer temperatures will make for excellent prayer weather. Be warned, however, that we'll see a cold front move in overnight. Hmm. It does say calm, clear skies, doesn't it? Dang it. See? <laughs> I told you so. Yeah, but you're still 12 meters down. That's pretty far, and there's a curtain. Hmm. <clears throat> Well, it would appear the witness has offered testimony worth hearing. Mr. Imus, I too have a question for you. Didn't he already question the witness? Well, that's what I'm here for, right? Uh, shoot! How was the accused holding the dagger? Was she holding it underhanded? Its blade protruding from the bottom of her hand? Yep, I believe she was. It's called the reverse grip. Ah, I thought as much. There's no way he could have seen it! Hold it right there! What bearing does that have on this case? God, I hate this guy. Cease your interruptions, you putrid-headed lawyer. Do you not see the significance in how the blade was held? Why don't you enlighten me, oh enlightened one? I knew you were a fool. I can already picture you in your next life. Next life? Yes, after your soul rides for centuries in the pits of hell, you shall be reborn as a witless sea urchin with barbs limited to your posterior. In like, this is, this is what I find annoying, is that this game feels really dragged on because half the time, Nayuta likes to just talk shit or they take like 10 seconds for him to do a single animation. And I'm like, I don't fucking care. I get it. He's a jackass who's hyper religious. Just let me keep going with the case. You shall have a sh live a short, inconsequential life only to be brutally devoured by a sea otter. That was a bit excessive. I simply asked what the dagger grip had to do with the case. Now pay attention. How the accused held the dagger is of vital importance. With such information, we can infer exactly what actions she took. You were saying that the victim was killed while he had his back to the accused. Is that correct? The, yes. As such, the accused dagger grip tells us something very important. The accused approached the victim from behind, swung her arms around him, and plunged the dagger deep into his abdomen using a reverse grip. Look, Ellie, they knew... You knew it. You figured it out. Sorry, Maya, you really did kill him. What? what? Thus, Mr. Imus's testimony clears up any doubts that might remain. Yeah, no, you fed him that, you dumb bastard. <laughs> and it coincides with her benevolence's insight as well. This is a disaster. I thought I'd blown those insights out of the water. Now they're back to haunt me. 
Now then, the defense may cross-examine the witness. Yeah, fuck you guys. The night of the murder. The time on a pony pony, yeah. I hate crowds, so I climbed up there to press, uh, to pray in peace. No, you fucking didn't, you dumb bastard. You, there's no way. Objection. God, come on. Not only were you below it, but there's a curtain. Your Majesty, I had my doubts about this bushy bearded witness, but now I know we can't trust him. What? You ain't just judging me solely on my bodacious beard, are you? Not at all, Mr. Immis. It's much more than your sketchy appearance. It's your sketchy testimony. Wow, Phoenix. Phoenix doesn't like beards. It is testimony, you say? Yes, recall how the inner sanctum was that day. Specifically, that it was completely enclosed by the ritual curtain. Why, yes, I believe you're right. The curtain would have completely blocked the witness's view from Mount Pony Pony. Therefore, he couldn't have possibly seen the murder happen. Ha <laughs> ha! Mr. Immis, have you been knowingly making false statements to this court? Uh, uh, well, uh... Die! Y you got me! The witness will lower his voice. I didn't actually see the accused herself. Uh, he didn't actually see the accused herself. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, let me set the record straight. I, I beg you. No, I think after that, I'd be like, get him out of here. The night of the murder amended. I saw their shadowy silhouettes uh, projected against the ritual curtain. The figures were created by the light of the full moon on that uh, clear and still night. And she was uh, just a shadow, but I could tell it was the accused reverse gripping that dagger. Uh-huh. Sh shadows? That's what you saw? That's right. I could see what was going on by the shadows projected on the ritual curtain. In the future, Mr. Immis, I would rather you offer up accurate testimony from the start. Uh, forgive me, my main man, Mr. Magistry. <laughs> Chalk it up to my fuzzy memory. Though he saw but shadows, it is still valuable testimony. You have to be kidding me. W what are we going to do now, Nick? Um, all I can think of is to look for inconsistencies between the actual right and what Mr. Immis says. <clears throat> now then, the defense may cross-examine the witness once more. Okay. The night of the murder amended. Sorry. Hey, what's going on, Ecstatic? How you doing? <clears throat> oh, God. It's the third. Yeah, honestly, I don't like this. Ecstatic. I, I'm not sure how I feel about Spirit of Justice. Like, it definitely looks really good and all that. But, like, just this chapter alone feels like really stretched out. I don't, I don't know if I like it so much. Like I said, last week it took me almost three hours just to do the first investigation. And I was like, Ugh. Also, dealing with Nayuta is incredibly draining. I fucking hate him. I just hate him. I don't think he's gonna get better either. Like, I, 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 I tend to like kind of warm up to prosecutors unless they're like, horribly evil people, you know, like um, Von Karma, the older. But all of them had something going on, you know, and as much as I said that I didn't like um, fucking um, oh god boy from the last one, at, at the end I was like, okay, I understand where he's coming from, you know. But yeah, oof. 
let's see. The figures were created by the light of the full moon. Wait, if the full if the moon was up above them, then he wouldn't have been able to see shadows over there. Begins the chant. The pie piece reads the scripture. Yeah, when the moon is directly over the summit. Okay, so yeah, the the shadows that wouldn't work. You wouldn't see the shadows. And plus, there were torches all around, so the shadows wouldn't be projected onto the um, the screen. They'd just be like on the inner sanctum. <clears throat> but yeah, like last week, I was like, man, I don't want to do this anymore, guys, because and, and like the hyper religious overtones and everything about it are just like, oh, it just feels like a lot. You saw silhouettes projected by the moonlight. Sorry, but that's just not possible. What do you mean? How is it not possible that it was totally possible? That That's impossible. I think I'm going to need a logicalese translation for that. Let's take a look at this rights guide, shall we, Mr. Emmis? The right is held when the moon is directly over the summit of Mount Pony Pony. Ooh. <clears throat> so if the moon was shining from the west, any shadows would have been cast eastward. But Mr. Emmis was standing to the west of the inner sanctum on Mount Pony Pony. Oh, holy mother! That's right. Our witness here couldn't have seen any shadowy figures on that curtain. Oh. No, 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 no way! <laughs> Hmm. Perhaps it was the sacred flames of the lantern that cast the shadows he saw? I'm afraid not. I inspected them during my investigation, but the flames were too small to cast the crisp, distinct figures of Mr. Emmett that, yeah, Mr. Emmett's claims to have seen. <clears throat> but, but I, I did see those silhouettes. Really? But how could he, Nick? Maybe he was someplace where they were visible. <clears throat> Wait, don't tell me. Your Majesty! If Mr. Imus really did see those shadows, it brings a brand new fact to light. <laughs> light puns. Oh yeah, no, it's very good. And that would be... The brand new fact that comes to light if Mr. Imus really did see those shadows is... He was somewhere else. <clears throat> He wasn't where he claimed to be at the time of the murder. <laughs> oh, then where do you propose the witness was? Some place where he could have seen the shadow figures, naturally. Wait, you mean... Yeah. We're starting food. Oh, what are you having? None of the mountains east of the Inner Sanctum are close enough for a good view. That leaves only one place where he could have clearly seen the shadow from. And where might that be? <clears throat> this is where Mr. Emmis was at at the time of the murder. The, the high priest, he wouldn't have been able to see anything from there. Garlic butter, chicken Kiev's. Oh, nice. This is generally as a, yeah. Other than, yeah. Justice for all. Mr. Emmis was at the inner sanctum, just outside the curtain on the east side. That's the only place from which he could have seen the shadowy figures. Ooh, uh, really? Wow, I didn't even think of that. But wasn't the inner sanctum off limits to all but the victim and the accused? And the third party who was there, you mean? I get the feeling that there's a sub... That's a subject Prosecutor Sadmati would rather not touch right now. Ah, you mean... That's right, this witness was at the scene of the crime. Which means he is the mysterious third party we saw during the divination seance. He could be the one who dressed as Lady Kira and killed the High Priest. Oh, yay! What? Yeah, come on.
No one but the two participants were allowed anywhere near the inner sanctum. And the only way up there are the stairs that start down at the Plaza of Devotion. So tell me, how do you propose the witness entered that sacred space? Oh, um, he must have, uh, I haven't thought that far ahead. The Sanctum has sheer cliffs on three sides and a steep towering rock face on the other. No one could have made it there by climbing the face of those cliffs. His Majesty speaks true. The same Mr. Imus was at such an inaccessible location is but a bid to tarnish his credibility. Like, he hasn't already has tarnished his credibility by lying to the court twice in a fucking row. Shut up, Nayuta, you suck! God, I just, I fucking hate this guy. Like, he's just terrible. He's just so full of himself and constantly being shitty and just like, damn, man. The fuck is per- I know. Is that not right? Right, I wasn't at the Inner Sanctum. No, sir, no how. Like, he- I- uh, I dislike him almost as much as, um... As, as much as Von Karma Sr., because Von Karma Sr. was literally just a fucking piece of shit. Trying his best to ruin you. You know, and it's just like, damn, like every every other prosecutor has had something else going on. But eventually, it you know, they were OK people. They just had a lot of baggage. But this guy just is an asshole. Send my name for something. Say, oh. I'm wait, what did I say? Oh, I was saying, um, remember when you uh, prosecutor Saad Madhi asked this guy, how um, Maya was holding the knife. Granted, this guy's lying the whole time, but he was like, she's holding it like backhanded. And then it showed a picture with Sadmati who was like, she must have run up behind him and then stabbed him in the stomach. And I was like, haha, you called them saying some bullshit like that, Ellie. No, 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 no. It's because I said something earlier. She's been playing League, so she's a little distracted. You hate Von Kar- Wait, really? It, do you just not like Franziska because she's like a, a huge sadist or? You are smart, yeah. Right, I wasn't at the Inner Sanctum. No, sir, no how. Uh, at least I'm pretty sure I wasn't. Yeah, no, I mean, she, she takes a while to like, to get to that point where she's not just like horrible, but she does experience growth, which is nice. As far as I can tell, I'm three trials in with this. Well, I'm only two trials in with this guy, but I see zero growth. He's just an asshole. Like, he's not even kind of like, oh, well, that makes sense. He's just like, no, you're fucking wrong and you're going to hell. And I'm like, this guy, I don't like him. Then, then what about those silhouettes you claim to have seen? I'm starting to think I've been uh, imagining things. What? Th this is insane. I knew we couldn't trust that lawyer. He's trying to frame the witness. Peace, peace, I say. I mean, Blackwell was, and that's why I was like, I hate him so much, but he started like in the latter trials, you could tell that he was starting, or, or at least like once you got to the point where you were like proving the case, he was kind of like, okay. Now I kind of want to hear what's going on. Where this guy just fights you into like the bitter end. But yeah, the more cases you got and the more Blackwell was kind of like, okay, let's hear that then, I guess. I mean, he's still threatened to kill you all the time, but you know. This is impossible. Unless I can show how he got to the inner sanctum. It just looks like I'm trying to slander Mr. Imus. I believe in you, Nick. Ra ra, sis boom ba, fight fight, Phoenix right? Just look at the accused. Has she no shame? What's your problem, lady? Phoenix Wright is very trustworthy. I'll have you know. She's got some nerve for a criminal. I bet that lawyer poisoned her mind. But please, Maya, you're only making it worse. I appreciate the vote of confidence, but it's probably best to keep it to yourself for now. 
fill that role perfectly. He got one case, Junior got a whole game. Uh Yeah. I mean, true. I don't know. There was just something nice about the consistency, I guess. But, like, I, I think it was also the fact that it was just a lot of, like, quips and stuff. This guy is just, like, 100% gunning for us to be dead. I mean, I guess she kind of, well, she just wanted us to, like, lose. So she looked better and all that, but, yeah. I would advise the defense to think more carefully before making any more sudden outbursts. Yeah, true. I mean, and, and to be perfectly fair, I think Von Karma, the first time she showed up was 18, right? Or 17? She was very young, you know? And granted, we cannot just give people a pass just because they're young. Like, if you're an asshole, you're kind of an asshole, but... I don't know. She kind of grew up in a weird environment and all that, and she's just got, like, fucking revenge on the mind, so. Or 16? Yeah, I know she was very young. Dale yeah, for killing his rival. Well, yeah, but also, I don't know. Kids be crazy, man. She was 18? Okay, but I mean, she's still fairly young. I mean, look at Athena. Athena's young, but she also has some problems. <laughs> I I yes, your majesty. I wasn't the bad guy before, I definitely am now. Now, Mr. Imus, I would like you to think back carefully before you testify about where you were that night. When she took the bite. Yeah, she was, cause she was like a prodigy. There's a lot of prodigies in this game. Doesn't mean they're smart, apparently. Um, but, like, well, not smart in the, like, social sense. I wasn't at the Inner Sanctum. Really? I started learning, yeah. I was never at the Inner Sanctum, I tell ya! That, that much I'm sure of, even with the fuzzy memory. Besides, it would have been impossible to get in there in the first place. Boy, you lawyers sure are scary. I guess it might have been impossible for him to get to the Inner Sanctum, like he claims, but, uh... Now will you desist in trying to frame this innocent witness? Shut up, Nayuta. Oh, she took the bar at 12? Yeah, that's, that's like, super... Like, she basically had a one-track mind from the beginning, and... Obviously, we all know that if you have, like, a bad habit or a bad mindset from, like, a child... From being a child and you have, like, a bad childhood, it takes a while to get out of that, so... I can kind of understand why in the first game, she didn't really budge very much. I mean, you could tell there was a bit of difference. She was a little less severe at the end, but she was still pretty hell-bent on, you know, taking down Phoenix Wright. Mr. Wright, is it not time to end these cross-examinations? God, I hate when they... No. A moment of desperation leads to 100 million years of torment. Shut up, Nayuta! It means that for each moment a sinner spends struggling to desire their sins. I'm just gonna stop, like, saying this, because 90% of his fucking dialogue it doesn't have anything to do with the trial. He's just talking to talk. Yeah, it's the strictest religion ever. Recruit 200 million. Cool, whatever. Fuck you. I don't care. What's 500 million? That's 700 million years of torment. Sure, what's another 200 million, give or take? Well, it's a big deal to me. I can't keep saying that the witness was there at the Inner Sanctum. Yeah, no, same. I don't like him at all. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that he's probably the worst prosecutor of the series. And people are probably gonna be like, but he cute. I don't fucking care. He's a dipshit and he's fucking religious nut job. Fuck this guy. I mean, you're right about Von Karma Sr. At least he played his role to a T, like he was supposed to. She hated you, like... Yeah, this is true. If I can't prove it, the problem is, how am I gonna do that? Well, we're gonna press, I guess. I wasn't at the Inner Sanctum. I don't like how he's, like, chewing sometimes.
he's killed how many defensive? Yeah, he's probably killed a bunch. Like, it's just like, damn, man, this guy, and he's just hell bent. Like, I feel like he just wants people to die more than he wants justice. And that's terrifying, actually. Also, it's gotten very bright. I'm gonna... Okay, that's better. I'm no longer blinding white. I mean, I have a tan. You can, you guys can see my tan lines, and then it starts to like get to the point where I'm pasty. Yeah. Besides, it would have been impossible to get there in the first place. Um. By the way, about that, Chedgeworth was also raised by senior. I mean, this is true. childhood stuff yeah I mean and you gotta remember Edgeworth is still pretty bad but he also has a, a, a completely different outlook on things from uh, Von Karma hold it hold it hmm I wonder if it really was impossible for you to get to the inner sanctum if you have something to say just say it couldn't there have been another way to get there a way that wouldn't attract attention no, 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 there isn't. Oh, yeah? Oh, did you just send me a couple? I saw that I have. Uh, oh, and you're over there. That's a very good place for screenshots. Very nice. There's a lot of crazy things you can do with G pose in Final Fantasy 14. You guys, Greg already got a fuck ton of impressions on it. I mean, this is true. Yeah. means there is and i mean technically he i i don't know he had more of the justice thing probably going for him because of his dad but then after that you know things got hard <laughs> which means there is perhaps the defense would share its theory with, with us i don't even have a wild guess let alone a theory though time to reach into my bag of bluffs <laughs> don't say that phoenix to reach the inner sanctum without attracting any attention he fell from the sky. I think they were all gone before he started. Oh, really? I don't know. But he also, he just has that deep-seated, like, horrible hatred. And I'm just like, man, maybe you fell from the sky. <laughs> the lawyer thinks he's a comedian now. I was wondering what crazy theory you would propose next. Well, defense, let's hear it. Mr. Imus could have, um, parachuted down. We already know the weather was clear and there was no wind to speak of. Perfect weather for skydiving, I'd say. And the DC Act was passed in 2005, yeah. Now that you have been backed into a corner, your delusions grow ever more delusional. Water flavor drops and... In... Oh, interesting. The inner sanctum is on a tiny ledge upon a sheer cliff over 2,000 meters tall. One misstep and a skydiver would soon find themselves in the twilight realm. Yeah, yeah, I don't care how still the wind was. Even I couldn't have made that jump. Wait, what's this building on top of the sacred mountain? That is Royal Penitentiary number four. Oh, right. Princess Rafa mentioned there was a prison up there. Like the Shadow Realm? Yeah. How do you get your prison up there anyway? By helicopter, or prisoners. But only with authorization from the Minister of Justice. He is the only one who can approve flights that pass over the Inner Sanctum. Yeah, well, I've already got a beef with that guy. Mountain range poster updated in the court record. Yeah, exactly! <laughs> I climbed Mount Everest and it still wasn't taller than your pile of bullshit. I might I also add defense that no parachute or anything or any other equipment necessary for skydiving have been found. Then what the fuck is this, you bitch? Fucking Nayuta motherfucker, let me show you. Are you saying I flew down there by flapping my arms? I may be an incredible dude, but even I'm not capable of that. 
I already can tell. Okay, guys, I, I, I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm like 900% sure that fucking Anonymous is actually the assassin bro who escaped from prison. But I'm gonna, ha I, even though I have this knowledge in my head, I still have to go through another investigation and more trial. So I, it's, it's just, I hate this because I already kind of know how things are gonna go, but I also know it's gonna be like five to six hours until I reach the conclusion of this singular chapter, and I hate that. Ah, well, please add that statement to your testimony, Mr. Imus. Like, man, yeah, it's not like you can fly through the air. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Oh, I should have used the voice. I keep forgetting about the voice. I'm just so annoyed. Mr. Imus is right. He couldn't have skydived down there without any gear. Well, now, finally come around, have you? Now you see that I couldn't have possibly been there at the Inner Sanctum. Right. If you didn't have any gear, that is. But, 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 what on earth are you talking about? Like, well, it's either him or... That guy, Pure Zealot. An apprentice priest living in the high priest's house. He's like a part of the family. I was like, do they look the same? Uh, Cause it doesn't show, it doesn't show the dude. Where is he at actually? Oh, do we not have a profile of, oh no we do. Yeah. <laughs> That's horrible. I, I hate it. It's actually, wow, nice. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Well, yeah, well, what on earth are you talking about? That overreaction is a dead giveaway that I'm on the right track. Take a look at this piece of evidence. Look at this photograph. Every time I do, it makes me laugh. Those are prayer flags, are they not? Yes, but they have been sewn together to create one big banner. A banner that could also function like a parachute. Oh, Tonka! Yeah, fuck you, Nayuta. Eat the truth. Just fucking do it. That's actually an attack helicopter, not spoilers, dang. The people of Korain are so used to seeing prayer flags that the police didn't even think twice about these flags during their investigation. N no this cannot be. Yeah, you're dumb, Nayuta. It's smug, I know. You know, it's funny. I love when Phoenix has a smug look on his face, but I hate it when the prosecution does because I know they're wrong most of the time. The witness landed at the inner sanctum by using these prayer flags as a parachute. Is that not right, Mr. Imus? <laughs> There's no way out. I'm surrounded. Um, Mr. Imus? Oh, this talks jogged my memory. I, I, I guess, uh, I guess I was there at the inner sanctum after all. <sighs> wow. Hey, fuck this guy. As I suspected, there were three people there that night, or maybe four. It's just a bunch of people. You did it, Nick. You weren't wrong after all. Um, thanks? Mr. Imus, you were the one disguised as Lady Kira that night, weren't you? Wh what? Uh, no, no, no way, no, how? Uh, it, it's like this, uh, uh, oh, oh yeah, uh, I was only there at the Inner Sanctum by accident. By accident? Yeah, I, this is also true, I'd be sitting there just watching like the back and forth. And that thing's not a parachute, it's a homemade paraglider. A paraglider? Are you telling me you could fly using that patchwork mess of material? 
It may not look like much, but it's as sturdy as can be. I rode the wind like an eagle going higher and higher from my earthly launching point. But then uh, something happened that forced me to land at the inner sanctum. So you just happened to land there. You expect me to believe that? Now, now, please calm yourself, Mr. Wright. I know this man has lied like five times in the courtroom, but you're overreacting. Yeah, he must be that guy on the wanted poster. That's what I'm thinking too. This voice is saying, guys, Jack. Wow. <laughs> However, the fact that the witness was at the inner sanctum is crucial testimony indeed. And it certainly warrants further explication. Therefore, let's continue with more testimony. How do you know words like explication? You're way smarter than my normal judge. Bum, bum. Why was that the inner sanctum? I said, Shoto, really? Damn. Uh, that evening, I was enjoying a trek through the night sky with my homemade paraglider. But just as Mount Pony Pony was drawing near, something terrible happened. An accident forced me to make an emergency landing at the inner sanctum. As I landed, I, I banged my head, and, uh, causing me to lose my memory. Yeah, so you see, I ended up at the inner sanctum <laughs> purely by accident. Mr. Imus, you failed to mention any of this during your pre-trial questioning. Can't be helped. I mean, I'm just remembering it now. Continue such slipshod testimony and you will be cast into the hell of hangnails. Where you shall have hangnails grown and ripped out for 800 million years! Where are these numbers coming from? Gross. Yeah, no thanks. I don't even want them grown, let alone... Uh, uh. Uh, I, I think I'll pass on that. Looks like that caught Prosecutor Sadmati off guard. This is my chance to rip his case to shreds. Man, somebody just gave me a message request on Instagram whose profile picture says, I work from home, ask me how. That might be a sham. <laughs> I'm not answering that. And especially when they come in and they just say, Hi. And I'm like, no. Why would you talk to anybody on Instagram or something by just saying hi? With it, I don't know you. Why do you want me to fucking answer you or talk to you or acknowledge your existence? I I don't know. Like, geez, I don't even get that many messages, but I understand now why there's a lot of women out there who just ignore 99% of their messages because it's like, what do you just say to a hi? What kind of, uh, at least have some kind of like, effort for conversation instead of making the other person attempt it. You get hangnails because you, oh no. Wait, no. Want to work on my F and F? Yeah. Follow for follow. Yeah, no. It, it, uh, you get paid an exposure. I was at the inner sanctum. That, yeah, I was enjoying the paraglider versus Mount Pony Pony. Something terrible happened. An accident forced me to... Yeah, can you elaborate on that accident, please? What exactly was this accident you had? Ah, uh, good question. Now, uh, what was it again? Wind? Oh yeah, it was the wind! And not just any wind, but a sudden gale force wind. Uh, made me lose control. The wind was strong enough to make you lose control. You got that right. Okay, then please add that to your testimony. Okay, wait, I revise my theory. Um, the reason why Imus got knocked out of the sky was because helicopters were chasing after the, the culprit man. And those gale force winds, because it was a clear sky. Yeah, it came out of nowhere. But, yeah, but it's a clear sky. Objection! Music makes you lose control. Let's go! Yeah. This is the music. You're gonna say it too? Yeah. We have a saying in my country, Mr. Imus. One lie begets another. And not, that's not baguette, which is a delicious loaf of French bread. 
but baguette. Also not beignet, which is a dessert. Huh? Uh, what was that supposed to mean? French. Why did you censor French? What's wrong with saying French? It means someone caught lying will lie again in an attempt to conceal their first lie. Oh, do you guys remember that time? It wasn't even that long ago where people were like mad at the French for some reason or another and America was like, well, we're going to call our French fries freedom fries. And it's like, wow, well, they're I mean, they're not even. They're not even French to begin with. So cool. I guess. Man, America be wild and sometimes. Garlic butter on a bag, everything on a baguette. I actually want to make some bread. I just, um, I'm just too lazy to wait for it because, you know, kneading it and then it rising and all that. This letter now invisible, uh, yeah, offensive. Wow. No, E is not offensive. We need E. Je Jewish space laser. What? Excuse me. I've never heard of that. Butter. In other words, this current testimony is just a blatant lie you're telling to cover your tracks. Well, what did you say? Send me a screenshot. Okay. You claimed gale force winds caused you to lose control. But this newspaper has the weather report on the day of the murder. It says the area around Inner Sanctum will enjoy calm, clear skies today. Why, I do believe it does say that. One lie begets another. That makes sense, but, uh, is it really a saying back home? I've never heard of it. Yeah, I kind of made that one up. Wow, Phoenix! For real? <clears throat> Dang. <laughs> what? <laughs> What? <laughs> That's the stupidest headline. Oh. Oh no. <clears throat> you want a space laser? I'd love one too, actually. Your Majesty, the witness's testimony contains another flaw, one that's even more fatal to his cause. More fatal, you say? The defense will explain himself at once! Mr. Imus claims he was flying up around the inner sanctum with his paraglider. But it would have been impossible to get all the way up there without any wind. Oh, why, yes, I believe you're right! We know the witness was at the inner sanctum, so... Mr. Imus, how did you get there, and from where? Did you jump out of a helicopter? What is going on? Without any wind, he couldn't have flown up there from the bottom of the mountain. By process of elimination, the only starting point that makes any sense is... Oh! Your Majesty, I believe I have the answer to your question. Yeah, <laughs> I know! Taylor. Oh, yeah. To reach the inner sanctum, Mr. Imus must have launched himself from here. Prison! Oh, but it shoots bacon. God, I, I should have gotten bacon when I was at the store earlier. Oh, bacon! Who are you insane? Uh, that's where he came from? He couldn't have come from below. The only other option is from above. So you see, Anonymous came down from Royal Penitentiary number four. From there, he could have easily reached the Inner Sanctum by parachute. And that means he might have also killed the High Priest. What? Yep, that looks like a Russian word, yeah. Man, you know what? Actually, talking of bacon, that reminds me, I was very sad the other day because I was going to make a sandwich uh, and we had some lettuce. Okay, so you guys remember the other week I had a tortoise for like half a day that belonged to my neighbor, but they got out and we were trying to figure out who the tortoise belonged to and they were finally like, oh, that's my tortoise and they came and got it. Okay, so 
My roommates bought like some um, some strawberries and watermelon and lettuce for it. Um, and obviously we gave the tortoise back, so we had no need for any of that stuff, but we, we could eat it anyway. Um, I was really sad because when we got another refrigerator and when my roommate was moving the stuff over to the fridge, he got rid of the lettuce, which was like two days old. It was perfectly good lettuce. And I was like, man, I can't wait to have a sandwich with some of that lettuce on it. The lettuce is gone. And I was like, man, why'd you get rid of that lettuce? <laughs> there was nothing wrong with it. But sometimes you just, you expect to have something and it ripped away from you. Let us pray. No. <laughs> Miss, yeah, Mr. Emmis, were you the third party at the inner sanctum, er, inner sanctum? And the one behind the warning to halt the right that the victim received? Was it you we saw in his final memory? Are you the rebel hunter Lady Kira? Hey, uh, Mr. Prosecutor, uh, sir, help me out, sir. Have you been on floor 11 in Genshin? Um, not this go around. Mostly because I hate fighting the Hydro and Pyro hypostasis, and I think those are the bosses in that one. I don't, I don't like it. I've gotten to floor 12 before, but generally I don't really go down that far because I get annoyed. Oh, it's awful? Oh, no! Why is it even worse? All I want is to just be able to get my Prima Gems and then yeet myself from that place. Rip lettuce and it's great. Yeah, sorry. F and chat for lettuce. I will get some more later. And what made it even worse, it was it was romaine lettuce. So it was good lettuce and they just threw it out. So wasteful. I hate wasting food. Like, it, it's just been something that's been instilled with, uh, by me. Also, I, I watched uh, Sanji's arc in uh, One Piece, and then I was like, never waste food. Oh, uh, the second spiral? Is it? Oh. One of your built maids of his is Yanfei? Yeah, one of mine is Yanfei as well, but I have a few different ones. Um, Freaking, my, my main one is Eula, to be perfectly honest, and then Razor's my other physical hitter. You did it! You finally left him speechless! <clears throat> ah, come on, Mr. Prosecutor Man! Quiet, you fool. You should use this time to prepare yourself for what is to come. For a fate far worse than hangnail hell awaits you now. Wow, what's worse than that, honestly? Well done, defense. I must concede this point to you. The witness did in fact descend to the inner sanctum from the royal penitentiary number four. If you knew that, then why did you make me do all this stuff? Huh? He didn't even put up a fight this time. That's awfully generous of him. But if you are as perceptive as you seem, then surely you've already figured out the riddle. The riddle of Anonymous' true identity. Ah, uh, career in politics. Yeah. Um, his true identity. Kill something, you start taking damage to the Norse shields, and you can die. What? What? Really? That's the stupidest thing. I hate that. Why didn't they just keep it like the electric circle? I was okay with that. Uh, not sure I know quite yet, but I guess I'll have to answer with something. It would seem I am the only one still in the dark here. Would the defense care to enlighten me? You still get it? Because uh, I the, the Sirens have like a million health at that stage. It's ridiculous. I mean, everything has a lot of health, but you know. So I guess they're like, you need regen. I, I guess this just did come out when we got new healing lady. So they're probably like, maybe you should use somebody who has regen in order to combat that. The defense care to enlighten me. Who is this man we've been calling anonymous? 
The witness's true identity is. Oh, the wanted poster. Is this really him? <clears throat> hmm. Only now do you realize the truth. Well, please do share with us your belated insight. Um, what's wrong, Nick? Just say it. Because this isn't going to be very helpful to our case. Really, are you sure? Unfortunately, I've got no other choice. The scruffy beard and shaggy man completely threw me off. But it's all becoming clear now. The nighttime base jump from the mountaintop prison the precision landing at the inner sanctum using only a homemade parachute. Only a paratrooper, or more precisely, a former paratrooper could have pulled that off. This witness is Dats Aribal, prison escapee and key member of Dirk's rebel group. You want at least one more star so you can have that floor 11 six star? It, well, it's a pain in the ass. Like, man, I'm usually happy just getting five or so, as long as I get like a hundred primos. Uh, from like any given thing, but man. Captions caught the pun? Ah, uh, the good. The witness is an escaped prisoner? Precisely. The police have been scouring every corner of the city to no avail, and you already knew about it, but you were just letting him wit- whatever. Meanwhile, here he was under our noses the entire time. Hoorah! I didn't think anyone would see through my clever disguise! <laughs> but the witness's charade is not all that has been shattered. Is it defense? Boy, do I hate this guy. The feeling is mutual, Phoenix. Yeah, I mean, Bennett would be helpful during that because his regen is insane, but yeah, that's just a sucky mechanic. Please recall the defense's own words. Whoever sent it clearly meant to threaten the high priest. The letter said, do not perform the right, but the right went on as scheduled. I believe that is why the high priest was murdered. So he's gonna be like, there's no way that he could have known because he was in prison. Person with something to hide. The rebel, oh. He claimed the real killer was the rebel hunter disguised as Lady Kira. Yeah, and what's your point? Hello, mom, happy Saturday, how are you doing? What of the witness's true identity? Only a paratrooper, or more precisely, a former paratrooper could have pulled that off. Yeah. Ah, uh, that's horrible. <gasps> oh, no. He is a rebel and an escaped prisoner. He could not possibly have been Lady Kira, mortal enemy, and enemy, enemy of the rebels. Yeah, I know. Like, they have to be like, well, you caught one guy, but it's not the guy you needed to catch. Good job. Now perhaps the witness will enlighten us to the truth. After all, he has yet to refute any of this. Uh, yeah, I never, 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 never. You three crowned Razor? Nice! I think I only crowned his, um, his auto attack. Well, I might have three crowned, or, or two crowned him at least. Because they recommend building him as a physical, so I always try to crown, like, their main attack, and then anything else that comes after. Hua, you got me! Through Roku, nice! I'm the razor shot fangs of the defiant dragons! Uh... That's Aribal! Hi, he is dumb. Hey, why is he making shadow puppets? When did you get your memory back? Is it Goku? You have to turn on the phone? Yeah, it's fine. Oh, around the time you guys were talking, there being no wind. But you gotta give me credit for making up all that testimony off the top of my head. Are you prepared to tell us the truth now? Well, it's true I parachuted down to the inner sanctum, but I banged my head on impact and ended up unconscious outside the ritual curtain. 
In short, all my eyewitness testimony was a big fat lie. Uh, a big fat lie? I plan. Oh, by the way, long time no see, beauty. Uh, wait, they know each other? Your Majesty, this filthy rebel belongs in a jail cell. Oh, yes, uh, of course. Bailiff sees him at once. <laughs> Seems you really have forgotten the will of the dragon, huh, Yudi? Whoa, what if Nayuta was a rebel? But I haven't, and no dogs of the Garan regime are gonna lay a finger on me. Hello, you. What? Did he just run? Did he just book it? Deploy all available resources. I want all units placed on high alert. Uh, okay. Wow, these guys suck. But in a courtroom, yeah. The escaped prisoner escaped again. The police force has been placed on high alert. You will be caught before long. An escaped prisoner who has escaped the law again after giving a ton of false testimony. Talk about a troublemaker. It really pulled a number on all of us. What was the point of all that anyway? Yeah! Wow! What the fuck was the point of that, Capcom? I love when games say exactly what you're thinking. Like, when they're like, wow, this seems useless. And you're like, yeah, why did you put it into the game? Well, I can't help but feel that entire episode was an enormous waste of time. Wow, Judge. Crazy that you think that. Your Majesty. Perhaps it was not as great of a waste of time as you might believe. What makes you say that, Prosecutor Sadmadi? Dat's Aribal dropped something as he made his escape from these halls. Hmm? That scrap of paper looks awfully familiar. These appear to be direct orders from Dirk. From Dirk, the rebel leader? No, but we only have a small corner of it. Wait, I remember now. Your Majesty, I've seen that scrap of paper before. You do have? The scrap of paper Dots Arabal dropped is a part of this. Take that. Take that. And this is? I found it at the scene of the crime. It appears to be a copy of the order that Mr. Arabal had, or dropped. If we put the two together, we should be able to read what the order says. Damn, that's how convenient. Oh my, and just what does it say, Mr. Wright? I can't read Kurnies. Maya! Ah, uh, Prosecutor Sadmati, if you please. Lot, yeah. The ignorant lawyer has not bothered to learn our language very well that. Wow, fuck you, Nayuta. Sorry, I came here to visit my friend and got pulled into a bunch of bullshit. Sorry I didn't learn your dumb language. I fucking hate this guy. <sighs> yeah, cut his braid, take his rosary, pull his earrings. I do not understand. Well, what does it say? Using the lamplights as a landmark, he was to parachute down to the inner sanctum. Upon the rite's completion, he was to don Lady Kira's robes and make his escape. What? That is how he was to escape from prison? So if I were to assume that Mr. Aribal was the one who killed the High Priest, then maybe it was because Abbot Inmeath tried to thwart his escape plan. Oh, foul lawyer, I'm afraid that is simply ludicrous. Huh? But I didn't say anything. Did he just read my mind? I know how your putrid mind works. Unfortunately for you, however, now that the Rebel's escape plan has been revealed, it is clear that Dots Aribal is not the High Priest's killer. How can you be so sure? Just, just say it. 
If only you would use that putrid brain of yours every once in a while. Dots Aribal's plan could not have worked without the help of a certain individual. W what do you mean? I am speaking of Abbot Inmi, of course. Had Dats Arabal simply donned Lady Kira's robes and made his escape alone, he would have been far too conspicuous. But were he by the High Priest's side, the faithful c citizens praying in the plaza would have had no cause to suspect anything. Oh boy. It is therefore unthinkable that Dats Arabal was the High Priest's killer. So there's a fourth party now. How many parties are happening? So, so then you're, you're saying the High Priest was a... Oh, I cannot bear to say it. I am afraid it is so. He numbered among the rebels who threaten our kingdom. Wow, but when I said it earlier, oh, it's the end of the world. Shut up, Nayuta. How could this be? The High Priest, a rebel? <laughs> there must be some kind of mistake. Let it go and move on. Accept the truth, it is the only way. And that goes double for you, defense. Cease your futile battle now. And why should I? Because I will now put the final nail in the coffin of the accused. Now that we have eliminated Dots Arival from our list of suspects, there is only one person that still remains. The accused, Maya Fey. No, bitch. Hold it right there! Aren't you forgetting something important? Something important? Please do explain, Defense. We can't end this trial without looking into... the third party. I'm talking about the true identity of the Lady Kira we saw in the Seance Vision. If that wasn't Dots Aribal, then who was it? Seems like the t he kind of does. He, I feel like he has no depth of character other than being an asshole who is hyper religious. Like, cool, I guess. The matter has already been resolved. It has? What's he talking about? It is as I have maintained from the start. There was no third party in the seance vision. But, but there was another Lady Kira there besides Maya Fey. We all saw her. Man, don't throw your stuff at me. What the? I I can't do my finger points. No! <sighs> We've lost this case. I can't point no more. Huh. Darg! Yeah, we are. We are doing the Naruto's. It is time to let it go and move on. Your fate has already been sealed, much like your arm. This hardly seems fair. It is quite simple once you consider where the victim and the accused were at the time. If the victim was near the spring with his back to the accused, what would he see ahead? Yeah, point with the other hand? Uh, he can't do that, it's wrong. Feels wrong. Besides the water itself, there is nothing but the Warbad statue. Or Warbad statue, okay, that was the judge. Precisely, the Lady Kira we saw in the seance is the Warbad statue draped in her sacred robes. N no way! The accused wanted the false Lady Kira to appear in the seance vision. Before she came from behind and stabbed the victim with the dagger in reverse grip. No! But why would the accused want to do something like create a false Lady Kira? To show it to the victim as he was being slain. Yeah, I don't know, honestly. And what reason would the accused have to fool the victim she was about to kill? It was not the victim she was trying to fool. It was this very court itself. Man, I love the fact that he can lie out his fucking ass and everybody's like, oh yeah, that's the truth. But like Phoenix says one thing and they're like, wow, you're gross. I can't believe you. But come again? Suspicion would not fall on the accused if it looked as if another Lady Kira was there. 
and the defense was foolish enough to fall for it and claim that it was a third party in disguise. Are, are you saying? I am. It was all a cleverly wicked scheme perpetrated by the accused. A scheme in which she sought to use the seance vision to mislead us. Oh man, this guy sucks. This can't be happening. What a face you are making, Defense. I am surprised you are taking this so hard. After all, did I not clearly state a while back that you were chasing after naught but a deluded fantasy? Yeah, you just see e seem fucking evil. Yeah, where's the evidence for that? You're telling me he knew this is how it would turn out all the way back then? And that he was just waiting for the most effective moment to spring it on me? Yeah, this guy's just a fucking jerk. <laughs> Do you understand now? I have had you dancing in the palm of my hand this entire time. It, it can't be! This is an outrage! You took our royal priestess's sacred divination seance and used it to commit the most foul and despicable murder! No! I did nothing of the sort! Maya... Uh, Nick, it's not true! I, I didn't! Shut up! Cease this ugly display. Your fate is sealed now that the facts have been exposed. I... that... You mean, now that I said what I wanted to say that I think is true? Your Majesty, the time has come to convict this criminal who only seeks to taint this sacred hall. Indeed, it seems this trial is over. Wow, fuck you. Yeah, no, it's not fucking over. Does the defense wish to offer up yet another counter-argument or something? Um, the accused is not the killer. And, uh, here's why. Now what do I do? I got nothing. It would appear that the defense has run out of arguments to make. Oh, for sure that rebel was the killer. The only person with a possible motive, the only one dressed as Lady Kira has vanished. I got nothing to use against Prosecutor Sadmati's argument. Damn it, I can't lose now. Not like this. Very well then, I shall now render my verdict. Wait! Please wait, I'm begging you. It is time to let it go and move on. Fuck you, Nayuta. You're the one who needs to fucking move on. I hate him so much. Like, and this is dragging on. This is why this game is so draining on me. It's like, why the fuck do I have to deal with like this bullshit for so fucking long? Like, just let me finish this trial. This trial need not be drawn out any longer. The defense has failed to counter the charge filed by the prosecution, but they have no fucking evidence. I have to, like, provide every bit of evidence, but the, the, the prosecution doesn't have to do anything. In accordance with the law, I invoke the defense culpability act against the defense. Now then, this court finds the accused, Maya Fay, and the defense, Phoenix Wright, guilty. That is blackout. No, wait, no, no, no. Okay, come on. Uh, hello? Your Majesty, please forget. Why the f Okay, fuck this game in particular for doing that. See, I fucking hate that. I'm like, you're dragging it out, you're dragging it out. Oh no, you got the guilty verdict. Everything's wrong. But wait. It's okay. And I'm like, no, this is just, it, it's not like the tension isn't there anymore. It's just fucking annoying. I just want to solve the case, please. Okay, hi, what's up? Please keep your finger off the trigger. What is the meaning of this? A body has been found in the Plaza of Devotion, your majesty. What's this? A body? What happened now? Don't tell me. And we found this. It's the knife! Guess what? It can't be fucking Maya because she's not out there killing people, you dumb pieces of shit. And we found this sticking out of the victim. Well, why that's 
Lady Kira's war bad dagger. Yeah. Lady Kira, she's returned once more. She's come to defeat the rebels. Okay. Peace. Well, it would seem the dagger that was once lost has now been found. I have one more thing to report, Prosecutor Sadmadhi. Yes? This dagger... It bears the fingerprints of Maya Fey on it. What? What? But, but, why would Maya's prints be on it? Ugh. I cannot believe it, yet it must be true. Is something the matter, Prosecutor Sadmadhi? This trial has run its course, and the accused guilt has been firmly established. Shut up. However, it would seem the defense was right about one thing. I, I was? You claim that the murder at the Inner Sanctum had been carried out by the rebel hunter masquerading as Lady Kira. I did say something to that effect, but what of it? Prosecutor Sadmadhi, are you suggesting what I think you are? I believe the true identity of the rebel hunter who has been masquerading as Lady Kira is none other than the accused, Ms. Maya Faye. How the fuck did she murder someone while she's in the fucking courtroom? You dumb hoe. Oh, hello? Da, 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 da. Windows, why did you say voice mods disconnected? Voice mods here, unless it just restarted again. My oh, God, I realize how shocking this must seem. Looking back, however, I realize there was much that pointed to this fact. The rebel hunting Lady Kira was first sighted about two years ago, and the accused first came to our kingdom two years ago as well. But why the timing matches per- Of course it does, Judge. Everything matches perfectly when Nayuta says it. But there's more. That warning letter was found in the High Priest's bedroom three days before the rite. Despite his house being locked up tight that night. Objection! How does that prove anything? Objection. It is difficult to believe an intruder could have found the way to enter such a secure house, unless it was other fuckface McGee. You dumb piece of shit. Okay, yeah, it's gotta be... It's gotta be Zealot. That's gotta be the guy who killed the dude. However, the accused was known to come and go freely there, and so was this other guy! Mainly to prepare for the purification rite. Ah! Yeah, Abbott enemy was an important figure with a ton of duties, including training alcohol acolytes. Yeah, he was kind, even to a foreigner like me. He would invite me over to his house whenever I was in between training sessions. Yeah, I remember. This is so annoying. The accused could have easily left the house unlocked for herself without anyone noticing. Lady Kira's warning updated in the court record. Cool. If we assume that the accused was Lady Kira, that more than establishes her motive for killing the High Priest. Yes, the victim was secretly an insurgent, bent on helping Dats Arabal escape, after all. Precisely, that made him a target of Lady Kira's wrath. Yeah, Maya wouldn't kill anyone. She, no, uh, no, uh, come on. And after killing the high priest, she then unleashed her divine justice on another rebel. So it seems the scope of this case has expanded. How is she literally, the night, like how was she supposed to kill someone while in prison? You dumb, not in, in the courtroom. We now have two murders perpetrated by Miss Maya Fey, masquerading as Lady Kira. What are you fucking talking about? This guy is like, 
just pissing me off. Like, seriously. Kevin's when they were killed. I mean, true, but he's just like, he is literally just making this up as he goes along. And everybody's like, yeah, this is fine. If Miss Faye is indeed a serial killer, it would put, it would affect the severity of our punishment. In light of this, I believe this second murder must be investigated before we can proceed. As you wish, your majesty. Maya Faye hereby charge you with this second murder. May your defiled soul feel the weight of your sins. A new murder charge on top of a guilty verdict? Uh, yeah, that doesn't make any fucking sense. It seems the defense will live to see one more day. Talking about hanging on by a thread. <laughs> Come tomorrow, far more terrible punishment awaits you. I hereby suspend these proceedings so that the second murder may be investigated. Until the conclusion of this new investigation, this court is adjourned. Man, this just feels like a lot of bullshit. Like... This case is stupid. I do not like this. I don't like the fact that we're almost six hours into episode three and we're not even halfway fucking done with it. I'm like, why does it need to be so long? I already know it's probably other dude doing some bullshit because maybe he was also a rebel or pretending to be. I don't know.